Well, hello, Bishop Wooden here, getting ready for tonight. Got a question for you. And I pray that your day is good and everything is going well because it's a beautiful day. Uh, got up today and uh, I was smelling some fresh cut grass and it took my mind back to when I was a little boy growing up there in little Philadelphia, the little Philadelphia section of Rockingham. And, you know, for me, cut grass reminds me of watermelon, believe it or not. And uh, just good times coming up. Now, I'm just sharing a little bit with you. That's not what I'm going to teach, obviously, tonight about cut grass nor watermelon. But I have a question for you that I am going to talk about tonight. How do you see yourself in the eyes of God, in the eyes of the God of the Bible? Are you big or are you small? Are you important or are you not so important? Are you huge and humongous or are you little and insignificant? Depending upon how we see ourselves in his eyes, in our relationship with him, will determine uh, whether or not we walk in true greatness or, you know, whether we miss what the Lord has for us. How submitted are we to the will of the Lord? How, how, how much do we trust his management of our lives? Um, uh, I want to talk about it tonight. And I'm excited about being able to share these deep truths according to the scripture. Those of you who know Brother Wood knows that I am going to stick and stay with the Bible because the Bible is right. Now, as I close, I want to ask you, are you big in the eyes of the Lord or are you insignificant? Are you large or are you small? How do you see yourself? Does God need you? Do you have gifts and talents that God can use? Or do you come before the Lord empty-handed saying, Lord, I'm an empty vessel and uh, here I am and I want you to use me? Got a question for you. Does the things that offend God offend you? How do you feel about it? Or do you say, well, I just shrug your shoulders and say, I'm just going to leave my relationship with the Lord out of this, and I'm going to enjoy this thing, whatever it is, for whatever it is, you know, because you can't be a Christian all the time, and you can't be Jesus, Jesus, Jesus uh, every, every moment of your life. So I want to talk about it, and I want you to come out tonight for the Bible study, I want to encourage all of the saints to, to come to church. You know, we're living in a day now where you, you have to be creative. You have to do things to get believers to meet at the appointed time to assemble in the house of the Lord. And uh, I thank God, my friends, that uh, when the Lord saved me back in 1977, from 77 until today, Nobody had to call me and tell me you, you need to, to attend church. When this thing gets in you, it's just in you. So tonight, I want you to come out, and I want to talk to you about these things, and we're going to see where we are in the Lord, because he has a big blessing for you. God bless you. We'll see you tonight.